Hey guys, my name is Joel Suffolk. As always, for my, my guest, the greatest manager in Australian wrestling wrestling today, Lord D. Lord Mark Williams, all the way from Melbourne. All right. All right. What is it like managing like Erica Reid, Sid Parker, and I mean you manage Apollo and Dean Draper. Yeah, I manage a lot of people. It's pretty good. Like you know, it is. It's good. It's fun. Especially get, get to help them out with stuff. Real good. Help them win. You know, do the things. Help them become the talented people that they are. That's what I do. Even when you get booed out of every building, it's still fun. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. I don't care what people boo me because like most fans are like deadbeats. Most fans are trash. You know, so it doesn't bother me. Trash, yeah. They're trash. Most fans are trash. Except for me though. Drew's still deciding. Um, how long have you been training to be a manager? Oh, I've been involved in wrestling for uh, like 21 years. Wow. So I started when I was 11 and I used to train under this guy. He was like a wrestler in the 70s. His name was uh, Lou Spinelli. So he was called... He called himself the Greek crusher Lou Spinelli, but like he was actually Italian. Because he said Greek people were pieces of shit. So he used to say, he used to call it so he was Greek, so he got more heat from the crowd. But yeah, I call myself the Greek crusher because it gets me more heat. So yeah, that's why. So I trained under him, lived at his house for a bit. So yeah, he taught me like everything about wrestling. I used to have to sleep on his floor. So I slept on his floor for a bit. Um, Two years later, his dog died, so I was able to sleep on a mattress. But yeah, it taught me everything I know. Like, taught me how to get heat, taught me how to interact with the crowd, taught me how to deal with wrestlers, taught me how to manage. He was a great guy. Died, unfortunately. But yeah. All right, have you seen the Mick Moretti promo that he did a few weeks back? Two weeks? The hashtag, you're gonna notice us? Ah, uh, maybe. It was great. Yeah, good stuff. Hashtag you're gonna notice Australian wrestling. Everyone notices me, you know, because yeah. I'm Lord Mark Williams, so I don't need a hashtag. People notice me. They notice me on the street, they go, look at that smooth looking guy. He's a cool cat. That's what Lou Spinelli used to teach me, the Greek crusher. He's like, ah, you know, you'll need to get the fucking noticed. So I get noticed. So that was the important thing he taught me. I know your little friend's laughing there, but like, it's what he used to say. It's awesome. Don't pick on him because he's Italian. No, no. No. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah. Um, what does the future hold for the Lord Mark Williamson? Well, I found out about this tournament. It's like a wrestling tournament. It's about, um, it's become the rule of the universe. So I'm just kind of working really hard on that. I think it's happening down in Melbourne next year. So yeah, just getting in training for that. Um, you know, trying to find some people to be involved in that, because I'd really like to help rule the universe, but yeah, you know, just things like that, because, you know, you can only like, manage in wrestling for so long, and it's not that real lucrative, you know, I need to, like, you know, rob people and roll people and, um, you know, roll fans in car parks. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's it. Any social media tags? No, no, not at all. Social media is for fools. Yeah. Total fools. I don't need social media. Social media is for peasants, and I'm a lord, so I don't need that. All right, thank you, Mark. All right, we're taking. Hey! Oh, and we're out.